The South Sudanese community in Omaha commemorates the long road to freedom. Thanks for joining us. I'm Sarah Feely. South Sudan's history is riddled with memories of war, especially in the fight to become their own country. But as KTV News Watch 7's Kaylee Searcy reports, they're celebrating Independence Day today through their rich culture. After years of violence and bloodshed, we have a lot of crisis back home and divide our community. South Sudan became its own country as Africa's 54th nation. So for the past 11 years, when July 9th rolls around, the celebration gets bigger and bigger, and the South Sudanese pride gets stronger and stronger. South Sudan, we have 64 tribes. Immersing their culture and people to the Omaha community. We gotta offer something, and the only thing that we can offer is the beauty of our diversity and the culture that we have. But Minister of Wildwood Church, Toot Keats, says the Sudanese pride runs deep throughout the entire state of Nebraska. This year, we are at 24,000 people. Douglas County, we have 16,000. Using events like South Sudan Day to bring awareness to just how mighty they are. Wherever we are, we are the nation of South Sudan. So our connections matters a lot because that's where we actually come together and make the connections and make the changes that need to be made. Traveling thousands of miles to Omaha, Sudanese author Tabitha Beal says, aside from freedom and strength, she wants this year's Independence Day to have another message. Unity among us, but of course, unity begins love, which is one of the things that we struggled with as a nation. And today we're just trying to make sure that um, we are the people to do it. We are the people to loving each other. Creating unity across nationalities, politics, and backgrounds. The only glue that will bring us together and make us stick together. Kaylee Searcy, KTV, Newswatch 7.